Welcome everyone to another episode of Your Smile Continues. Yes, I just want to speak to us today about habits. We do not rise to the level of our systems. We actually fall down to the level of our disciplines. We actually fall down to the level of the amount of sacrifices we've actually made. Yes, we don't rise to the level of our competition. We fall down to the level of our skill level. Yes, am I ready to play in the NBA? Yeah, sure, maybe, kind of, sort of, perhaps if you give me what? About three months worth of training camp with a well-renowned trainer. A well-renowned trainer sort of who? Phil Handy, a well-renowned trainer sort of Miles Simon, a well-renowned trainer sort of Remy Workhouse. Yes, you give me about three months, I'll be ready to compete. But right now, I'm not at that level to be able to get to that system in order for me to bump with the LeBron Jameses and Anthony Davis. So this is me knowing that, like, I'm not ready to ascend to that level of competition because when I get on that stage, I will fall down to the level of my skill level, which is somebody who played at the NBA G League level, but somebody who didn't actually get to the NBA pro level, which was the next level, and I actually stopped at the level before that level. But the key understanding is the fact that time becomes your ally in situations like this because you need to know that your habits are what actually makes you able to what? Supersede and ascend into that system. So that habit will be maybe January 1st. I'm not competent enough to be able to bump at that level with the ADs and the Greek freaks and the Hardens. Give me three months of intense training camp on a track, working on my handle, working on my jump shot, a thousand jump shots every day. Waking up, doing ball handling at 5 a.m., coming back for shooting rounds at noon, and then going and playing in the evenings to work on all the combo moves and all the drills, sacrificing, in order for me to give myself the opportunity to rise up to that system. If not, I'll fall down to the below level skill level in which I currently possess. And this is us knowing that our habits are what's actually going to help us stay consistent on that path. So we need to track our habits and not so be focus on the goals. I want to get to that institution. I want to get to that place. I want that car. I want this house. I want this life. That might be the goal. But the process that's going to get you there are the habits. What habits do you have in place that are actually giving you the ability to cultivate those skills? It's one thing to hope and wish and dream, but it's another thing to actually get on with it by actually being inspired for the fact that you know that I'm actually doing something I love. So even if I don't play professional basketball, I'm still going to enjoy being around the game of basketball. Either be through merchandising, either be through advertising, marketing, sales, coaching, playing, being an agent, creating a multi-business media company, just like uninterrupted. Yes, moguls do this all the time. I want us to know that our ability to cultivate those skills are very needed right now because we need the mentors, the coaches,